Today's video, we're going to be checking out the Mesco Toys. This is the Jason Voorhees Signature Super Deformed Entertainment Earth Exclusive. The star of over 11 films, Jason is virtually unstoppable killing machine, and he's also the latest character to be immortalized in Mezco's signature super deformed style. In addition to having 10 points of articulation, Mezco's deluxe stylized Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees figure comes ready to slay with his signature bloody axe and machete, which have been the end of countless unhappy campers. So how tall does the Entertainment Earth exclusive stylized Jason stand? Let's put the tape measure next to him. Let's find out. The answer to that question is 7 inches in height. In centimeters, you're looking at 17.9. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. How does he stack up to the other Mezco stylized Jason that we already had a look at? Let's move him over and answer that question with bringing in the other Jason that we had a look at. Now initially, I did think, and I even mentioned it during the course of this video, that the Entertainment Earth exclusive did have a glow-in-the-dark mask, but I thought it might have had something else. And the answer to that is yes, this Jason from Entertainment Earth is splattered in blood. Despite what Tide may tell you, it is not the ultimate stain remover. I don't think it's going to get out all that blood in Jason's clothes. And it doesn't even go... And stop at that, you can also see that he's got blood splattered across his mask. And it also looks like on top of his head as well. So let's get some close-up looks at the two figures side by side. I suppose you could say that the coloring between the two shirts and the two pants are identical to one another. The boots themselves don't look like there's any real drastic changes between them. Unless, well, I guess you could think that maybe the... Entertainment Earth exclusive has a little bit more brown in the boots, but other than that, the shoes are exactly the same. The skin tone looks also identical to one another. And, uh, and then, again, you've got the blood splattered all across the Entertainment Earth exclusive, which also happens to carry over to his mask. Now, the mask, I can tell you, does glow in the dark. The trade-off for that is, unfortunately, it doesn't have as much the coloring on its the front of the mask as, say, this one had right here. This one, this one had some really nice airbrushing. Well, you, you've seen the review of it. I hope you've seen the review of it. It's got some nice airbrushing around the outer area. And it had almost this kind of glowing yellow that, that was airbrushed across the front. It kind of gave it that sense that there was a light source hitting it. And it did look quite good. If you could compare that to this particular Jason, unfortunately, because it is a glow-in-the-dark mask, all of it is just white. All those details of the scratches, none of which have been accented by some additional coloring. No, instead, they give you just straight white. Now, don't worry. You probably are going the same route I'm thinking right now. You could, in theory, swap the masks as well. This works, too, because if you don't want a blood-splattered mask on this Jason, and you want just a more traditional mask, you can move that over, and you get the benefit, the virtue of having then all this extra blood splattered look at it it's all over the place it's all over his hands as you can see there it's all over his sleeves it's all over the front of his shirt and all down the sides and the fronts of his pants we'll go ahead and peel off jason's mask as we really have spent a whole lot of time looking at this figure anyways with its initial release the same thing holds true one thing i would say is when you're taking off the mask kind of peel off the front and then pull back this will allow not any real stress caused then to the mask itself. You don't have to worry then that these soft plastic strappings are going to break off. And there you have Jason's very grotesque face. We'll go ahead and take the mask off of this one. Again, the same idea. We'll just take that right off. Just show you the difference between the two. The face sculpts underneath are identical to one another. This one, of course, much generous with blood now all across its head. But the paint doesn't really look like there's any real difference between the two. 
Sure, you could say this one has a little bit more airbrushing around here, this one does not, but that would go from figure to figure. Mileage may vary anyways, that you may not have the same identical figure that your friend has if they pick up, you know, you and your friend take the same, pick up the same two figures. So like I said before, what you can always do is you can grab the regular Jason mask, the one that didn't have the glow in the dark option, and you can put that on his face. And again, you just want to peel that down and kind of just bring the mask down first and then just kind of peel this back. There we go. And then you can have just the regular Jason mask. This kind of gives you the best of both worlds because then you've got the blood all over his outfit and a little bit of blood on the top, but then the hockey mask remains relatively unscathed, but it does have the additional paint that this one does not have. For his accessories, Jason gets pretty much the exact same thing as what we got before. Now, the other axe, if you look at those two side by side, they're really not different from one another. Exactly the same axe. Even though Jason has been soaked with his victim's blood, if you will, uh, the weapons remain pretty much the exact same. There's no difference between the two. The same thing also can be said for the machete. If we look at the two machetes, this is the one that came with the original release. This is the Entertainment Earth version. Even the blood patterning is exactly the same. Nothing different between the two. They hold also in his hand the exact same way as well. And this Entertainment Earth exclusive also comes with the closed fist, which I find is still problematic and not something you can immediately put into the socket and immediately put then a weapon to his hand. It just doesn't work as well. You may have to heat this up as I've done with the other Jason to get him to properly hold anything. A lot of times I'll just keep all the hand holding weapons to this side of his body while this hand will just stay in that gripping I want to grab you and mangle your head and squish it like a melon. Keep that hand in place. Um, to put this into his hand it's simply just a case of you do have to do a little bit of prying though. I mean you're, you're not off easy on this. You still have to pry his fingers open a little bit to get the machete in his hand. One of the problems it still does have specifically with the machete, there you go, is this little extra tab down below. Luckily it's not a thin enough plastic that's going to break, but you don't want to be really forcibly uh, ramming it into the hand because you definitely don't want that bending or warping in any which way. I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this as well. You're thinking that's not the same mask. No, it's not. I, I just kept, I kept the other mask on just for the time being. Uh, posability on this guy, we'll talk a little bit about his posability, and then we will showcase the glow-in-the-dark option. Of course, that is also the benefit of this particular figure release. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and take the head off, the hockey mask off, because that doesn't belong to him. And we'll put on the blood-soaked one. There we go. And now, posability on this Jason is the exact same as the one we already had a look at. So his head is on a ball joint. It can rotate all the way around and it can hinge up and down and it can technically hinge left and right at a really good angle too. If you wanna have your Jason kind of, just kind of a little confused. Is that really his mother? Is that just some girl dressed up with only Pamela's sweater? Apparently enough for me to think that that's my mother. Uh, sh shoulders or arms, I should say, hinge out to about, to about there in a nice scaring, I just snuck up behind you, now I'm gonna impale you with something, sort of arm pose. Uh, the arms do rotate, let me just see, there we go, rotate all the way around. Unfortunately though, with this particular figure, uh, his arms are only relegated to a standard swivel. That's, that's all you can do with them, is just this, just swivel back and forth. The hands rotate all the way around. He has a waist swivel, but that's about all you're really going to get. And he has posability in his feet. The figure, much like the other one, also has a very obvious hump to it. And one can't help but notice he still stands that slightly awkward angle as the other Jason as well. And turning off the lights, you can see how Jason's mask glows a very bright green. Mileage may vary in the time in which you've got the mask in front of the lamp will dictate just how long it will glow. The camera has already exhausted whatever view it can show of the glow-in-the-dark mask, but I can assure you it still continues to glow 
right in front of me, even though you guys can't see it. So after about 10, 15 minutes of review, you're probably asking yourself in final looks, is a figure like this, the Entertainment Earth exclusive, warranting a, a pickup? If I've already picked up the Mezco Super Stylized Friday 13 Jason Voorhees, do I really need to get this one? If I looked at the figure and it only had a glow-in-the-dark mask as its different option, I would say it is a pass. It's not a figure that you really need to pick up because the other one does just as much the job this one does with a better painted mask. Plus as well, glow-in-the-dark sounds good on paper, but unless you're going to have the figure around a light source all the time, and you're going to turn off, turn off the lights and look at the mask immediately to see its bright glowing green face, other than that, I think this figure is a pass until you look at the fact that he does have blood splattered all across the front of his outfit. Yes, it's on the front of his shirt and the front of his pants. The back of his shirt and pants stay relatively still pretty clean. Then you can start looking at this figure as something completely different. I know it's only just a little bit of blood, but it does separate him from looking like the original released one that we already had a look at. Plus as well, with that you get an axe and a machete, it means that one of these figures could be wielding a machete. The other one could be wielding an axe. Therefore, I think it would be a justified reason as to why you would want to pick up not only the original regular release that we already had a look at, but also this one as well. It's funny that how blood goes a long way for worthy figures to be picked up. If it was just a glow-in-the-dark mask, I would say pass. Put a little bit of blood on it, now we're talking. If you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, you can usually find it online. eBay's got a good place. I ordered mine on eBay. And being that, of course, it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive, kind of already tells you where you can pick this one up for yourself, you can head over to entertainmentearth.com and you can probably pick this guy up right now. Price point on this one will be the same price. It's not that much different in price than their regular release. Being that I picked this one up on eBay, I think I paid a little bit more, but that's only because it factored in shipping duties and all that wonderful stuff that in Canada I get to pay for when I get stuff shipped to me. Uh, a nice little pickup though and different enough that I think I could have both on display and I feel as if I have two completely different figures. Not just one figure and another figure that's got a glow-in-the-dark mask, which is not the case. Today we were having a look though at the Mesco Toys. This was the super deformed, super stylized Friday 13 Jason Voorhees with the glow-in-the-dark Entertainment Earth exclusive mask and a whole bunch of blood. And that's enough for me. Call it a day. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm ready. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Mezco super stylized figures, there's a playlist there for you. You can also check out some of my other Mezco reviews. Same method. Playlists. You can check those out. And make sure as well, if you have a chance and you have a few minutes on your hands, make sure you swing by the homepage and check out the video section. See if there's anything you may have missed along the way. There's a lot of videos there, whole lot of videos. You may have missed something. Best place to check it out, though, and make sure that you haven't. Do sort of a mental checklist in your head. I've done that one. I've looked at that one. Yeah, I looked at that one before I went to school. I went and looked at that one before I went out to the movies. Oh, I haven't seen that one. There you go. You're welcome. More videos, guys, will be coming certainly your way. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.